Now I'll go ahead and go back to VirtualBox and reopen that. And as mentioned earlier, I finally found out why we couldn't get the thing connected to other you know, VMs or virtual machines while in VirtualBox. And it turns out there is something you have to do with your actual network settings to get this thing to actually work. So, what you need to first do is actually pick your VM. In this case, I'm picking Ubuntu 9. Now I'm going to go to the settings. Now I go to network settings. Then for adapter, I'm actually, instead of choosing NAT, I have the bridge adapter checked. And of course, I'm using my airport card. And on one advantage to the Mac version of this is the fact that it will work for your wireless. If you're on a Windows machine, for some reason, it doesn't want to work with the wireless, but it works perfectly fine with your Ethernet connection. So if you're on a Mac, no problem with wireless. Windows, unfortunately, you will have to deal with Ethernet because for some reason, it will not see the airport drivers in Windows. Unless you're going through NAT, but if you're doing a bridge, con if you're in NAT on Windows, it seems no problem, but bridge connection, of course, then it'll screw up. So, okay, at this point, I hit OK. And now I'll go ahead and start Ubuntu. And it's probably good idea to go ahead and change the boot order so just boost to the first hard drive at first anyway. Which you can also do within your settings and your hardware. So right now I go through the standard Linux boot start, sorry, standard Linux boot screen, and we'll get started. And as you can see, we're not running the issue where it's taking twice as long to boot up as we did Saturday morning, ironically, when I was trying to actually do a live demonstration. And of course, security reasons I have it set, so you have to actually type in the username and password as you get on here. Type in my username, and I'll type in my password. Wait a little bit, and I should be automatically logged in. I mean, sorry, I'll be logged in momentarily. So right now, go ahead and actually go to the terminal, start Apache. So I'll go to Accessories, then Terminal, on Applications, type in SUDO for Super User Do or Sudo, space, slash OPT, slash LAMPP, slash LAMPP, and then next, Start. Type in my user password, hit enter. It's not exempt, it's actually starting on this version of Linux. Along as well as pretty much this, which of course includes Apache with SSL or Apache like it is, and of course PHP, MySQL, and then even FTP support. So now to start, I can go ahead and exit this window and start Firefox real quick to test it. As you can tell, it actually appears that I am on a still have a network connection, so I'll just do a quick Google search to make sure I'm actually connected to the actual internet. And yes, that search that does make me a super geek, but okay, you can get to that guy in the glasses and other sites with this, so internet works. Check local host. Make sure patch is up and running. And of course, Apache is up and running. So now I'll exit out of VirtualBox and go to Firefox on my main computer. And actually, while that's loading up, one more thing I need to do I need to go ahead and actually, might as well exit 
Firefox here. Then go to Applications again, Accessories, Terminal. Now type in sudo ifconfig to get the IP address. So it is 162, I'm sorry, 192.168.2.6 on this machine. So I'll simply drag this down a little bit. Shrink the Firefox window so I can see what I'm doing. And at this point, just type in that IP address. So that's 192.168.2.6. Voila. Connection back and forth to these two machines. And as you test the database portion of it, I can go to the phone book in here. Type in my last name. Then my first name. Hit add, and that shows up there. Likewise, I can do the same here. So I may want to bring this up a little bit. Kind of match where that is. Now I'll capture again. Okay, I finally got the mouse to actually respond on here. So I'll type in localhost again. Okay, I see where I messed up. Had to add this thing moved over some. course computers will mess up on you on weird stuff like this when you're trying to record stuff so right now once again I go to the phone book see my information there type in test user 2 say copy paste then add Now I go on my main machine and see what happens. Voila, it's there. Then I type in connection works. As you can see, I was able to send data from this browser back to this database. So now Hit capture again to verify everything. And it actually has added stuff in it correctly. Okay, and everybody, that is basically it. So basically, I got to patch you up and run on this machine and got the VM and the host actually see each other. So that will end this quick presentation right now for OS 10 Mac. VirtualBox and using VMs to pretty much talk to each other.